Hey everybody, I'm Scott with Starkey Family Fixing Rigging Up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you got your notifications turned on. That way you get notified when my next video comes out. Now, before we move on with this, I want to apologize because as you can hear in the background, somebody has abandoned their truck once again for about a week and they've let the generator on the side of their truck run the whole entire time. Nobody's living in it. They're just doing it to waste $5 a gallon diesel fuel. Makes sense, right? Anyways, today what we're actually going to do is, on the semi-trailer, we got a uh, hubcap that's actually leaking. This is the new one. And let me show you the old one. Okay, so here's what the problem is here. It's not leaking bad. It may look like it on my rim, but it really isn't. But this glass right here, do you see that little puddle right there? It's leaking really, really bad. So not only is it leaking out of this plug, but it's leaking out of the side of this. The gasket's actually shot. So those little drops are going onto the rim when I'm going down the road making a big old mess otherwise a dot red flag you do not want to get pulled over with a leaky seal on the outside because they will assume you have a major problem even though it's not really a big problem other than a big mess so let me go ahead and show you what tools we're going to end up needing because these right here are actually the bolts that we're going to pull out and uh, let me show you what we're gonna need for that. Okay, so these right here are actually all the potential items that we're gonna need, okay? Of course, we're gonna need a new cap, new plug. Make sure it has a gasket. By the way, I will leave a link in the description of what this is, but this is a Stemco, and I paid $14 for it. So I will leave that link, so keep an eye on that. Now, we're going to have a tape measure, and the reason why is I went ahead and bought new bolts for this. I don't know how long I actually need, so we're going to measure the old ones out. But as you see, these are actually grade 8 bolts. Whatever they got in there is not grade 8. It's probably some standard crap. So, if you get all these out without even breaking, make sure you put new bolts in there and make sure you put a high grade bolt in there the reason being is these heads are actually exposed to the weather all the salt everything during the winter i'm liable to actually loosen these up and the heads just pop right off so if you get a high strength bolt you're not going to have the problem that you would at if you had like a standard so make sure you don't go cheap on that now this whole bag, I started off with, I believe, like uh, two inch bolts and, and went on down from there. But uh, I got various size. These right here, just a few dollars over tractor supply. Now to remove these, we're gonna need a half inch socket. Of course, a ratchet, extensions. This right here, if you don't know what it is, this is actually a gasket scraper. So once we get the old gasket off, then we can scrape the old one off if needed. And then we're going to need some oil. So make sure you get a good name brand oil. Now this trailer calls for synthetic oil. So guess what? I'm using synthetic oil. And just in case the bolt breaks, we may need these. Just in case we have some particles of the gasket go inside, we may need these to fetch them. And of course, like I said, I'm going to measure the bolts. That way you know exactly what's needed because as far as I know, these are actually the factory bolts for this hub. And it's hot, so guess what? I've got my fan. Make sure you get you a drink. I don't drink sodas, so this stuff's really good. But I do want to bring this up. Milo's, I appreciate the uh, container but I'm just sorry that I'm not a fan of tea. But thank you for the container, even though it cost me a few dollars for it. Anyways, I trimmed off 
the top of this. So basically, you can use like a milk container or whatever. As you see, this fits completely perfect underneath there. So when I take these bolts off and I start pulling this off, this right here will catch all the oil. So make sure you get you a milk jug, or in my case, I got a tea jug. And uh, trim it up a little bit. Anyways, we got some PB Blaster, just in case also. And that's actually really good on cleanup sometimes. So, I think everyone has a good idea of what they need. Yes, we got a funnel if we need that. But this right here has a tip on it that we're going to trim. And that will make it easier to squeeze the oil in place. But uh, anyways, bag of bulbs, fan, drink, whatever. And we got a putty knife get in there a little bit better but let's go ahead and move on and start taking this thing apart okay so since we want the oil can to be underneath here we need to get that bolt out first so take your time with it and don't try not to jerk it loose if it starts leaking just go ahead and put your pan underneath of it See this right here? That is just an ordinary standard bolt. So, in saying that, it's time to measure it. Okay, so it does have a washer on it, a flat washer. So let's measure the length that we're pulling out of this. Now, when you measure a bolt, you're measuring, measuring underneath the head down. So this is actually a one inch bolt. So what we'll put back into it is a one inch bolt. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you can see or not, but make sure you put a rag down on your rim anyways, just in case. So now let's go ahead and put that underneath there. Now, there is a drain up here, but as you can see, the drain is on the top, not on the bottom where I actually need it. So yeah, it's okay though. Let's go ahead and take the next one apart. So far, we're doing good. So now what we're going to do is we're only going to loosen up these other, other three. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and try to pull it towards us a little bit. Here it's coming. Let me move this camera in here just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna loosen these bolts up just a hair. Okay, 
Hey, can you see it draining in there? I'm just using my screwdriver to pull this out just a little bit. Okay, I think we're good, so we may be able to take his cap off now, because we've got the pressure off on it. There's our oily mess. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like in here. And we got a nice little stream of oil coming there, which is fine. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a couple minutes and let this oil drain out of there as much as possible. In the meantime, I'm gonna go around this, which it actually came off pretty nice. Um, the old gasket and stuff, but I'm gonna go around there and try to clean that up a little bit more. But uh, we really don't want to put a new gasket on while it's draining oil. So let me go ahead and get this cleaned up here. Okay, so now we're gonna use the gasket scraper. Now this has a really fine edge on it, and this would not hurt the metal at all. This is what it's actually designed for. That's why it's real wide. Actually came off pretty good. That oil is actually pretty due to be changed too. I'm gonna touch it up a little bit with my uh, wire wheel. This will knock out any surface corrosion or anything like that. Okay, now this is why we got this rag down here on the bottom. Catch some of these driplets. going to continue to leak a little bit because I've got now, now keep in mind there's still oil in this hub this is just the top section of it okay so you're actually not going to use I got a little bit here I gotta get but you're actually not going to be draining all the oil out Okay, so I want to show you this. The way that this actually came off, and it's, I looked just to make sure, but 
all of them are like this on the whole entire trailer you've got a bolt and then you have a lock washer there is no normal washer under it. it's just a bolt and lock washer so you're just gonna put that in your gasket's gonna have your holes in it and it's just gonna go on just like this now keep in mind you don't have to have this in a certain position going back because this is just going to turn any way you put this on it's going to be the absolute same now i did want to show you this right here let me try to zoom in here you see this mark here where it says full and add well when i get this on here i'm going to show you what you do is you fill oil in here and then when the level comes up here to the full mark that's how you know you're good on oil this is a nice little sight glass so basically you're going to put oil in this then you'll give it a few minutes to settle inside the hub and then the level will come down and then you just put more oil in it and you fill it up it's very simple it's really hard to make a mistake with this that's why i like these right here but you know when they go bad just like anything else they gotta be replaced okay so i'm gonna pull this oil pan out and i'm gonna try to get this on here and stuck before too much oil gets along in there but i did want to show you about how much oil actually drained out of there as you can see not a whole lot okay here we go last wipe hey the thing finally shut off isn't that nice I'm just putting everything on by hand here. You don't want to tighten anything down until you get all the bolts in there because you want to make sure your gasket is in place. okay so i got all the bolts in there now i can go ahead and start tightening it down so i'm just going to get everything snug for right now Now try not to overforce these because you don't want them stripped out. Okay, now let's tighten them down. I'm just doing a wrist turn. As much as I can do just turning with my wrist. Okay, now I tried looking up to see if there was a torque down specification for this, but I absolutely could not find it anywhere. So if anyone knows offhand, if you wouldn't care to leave that down into the comments, that way everyone actually knows. But I'm not going to put this on here super tight. 
just tight. And there goes the lawnmower again. Unreal. Let's go around it again. I'm trying to get these things all about even, just by fill. Now my cast, or this hub is actually cast on my hub. It's a cast steel. Now you can get some of these hubs that are actually cast aluminum. If you end up having a hub that's cast aluminum, make sure you do not over tighten these bolts. These bolts will strip off and they will break inside there pretty easy. Especially if you're not buying new hardware, okay? so. You can still strip them off in the cast steel, but it's a little bit stronger. So just beware of that. Let me go one more time. And it should be okay. Okay, so I've got the camera about as close as I can get it and actually still be able to put oil on this. So basically, you're just gonna take your jug of oil, you stick the cone section in here, and you just squeeze away. You see this right here that's the oil level let me bring the camera in a little bit closer here so you can see this okay do you see that in there now I'm gonna give that a few minutes to actually lower down a little bit but basically that's what you're gonna look for. You got the add mark and you got the full mark. Right now it's down to add. So you're gonna actually pour some in, give it a few minutes to settle. When you see it stop settling, then you're gonna add more back into it. Okay, so the level's gone down. The, the big thing that you want to make sure is don't just take your oil and be like oh I'm going to fill it up it'll be okay because what's going to happen is if you overfill this thing much the pressure will build up inside there and it'll blow your inner seal and get it leaking and then you'll have oil coming out of here also so it's kind of defeating the purpose you want to have the right amount of oil to do what you need but not too much oil that there's no room for expansion. Now to give you an idea, I'm right here on my oil level. This bottle fresh is about up to here. I'm going to do this a few more times and I'm going to wait it out but as you see it's getting actually dark well it is dark actually <laughs> you know how my jobs normally uh, run me into the nighttime anymore but basically before I go to take off in the morning I'm going to actually uh, tonight I'm going to get the oil level right where I'm happy at but in the morning before I take off when I'm doing my pre-trip I'm going to come back here 
and I'm going to check this side glass and make sure that I don't, I don't need to add more oil because right now the hub is pretty well cooled down and the oil is actually kind of cool now if you had hot oil and a hot up or a hub then that oil is going to get into all these crevices a lot quicker but you still need to give it time to check out that is very 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 important because the last thing you want to happen is to have a wheel bearing burn up I have actually been there before and I actually had to have the axle surgeons come out cut my spindle off where I was at weld a new one on there I had to be escorted off the road because the whole hub caught on fire I had a permit load with a heavy coil blah 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 it cost me almost three thousand dollars because of the mess that I was in so you don't want to do that and everything had to be taken care of in a grocery store parking lot so trust me it wasn't very fun at all okay so as you see I got it right where I needed to be at so I'm pretty happy with that for tonight so like I said in the morning I'm gonna check it before I take off so let's go ahead and put a plug in there now don't just use any plug this one came with the kit so it's that simple when you go to add more it just pops right out very very simple push it in pop it out now we're going to go to the next step you see this rim i need to clean this up a little bit before i'm able to get to the car wash since i'm not able to get my trailer home at this point in time i need to do a little bit of cleanup out here and then when I find a car wash, then I'll power wash the rim the rest of the way off. Okay, so that's where the PB Blaster is going to come in to save the day. It is penetrating oil, so it is a cleaner. Yeah, it's just squirted all over the rim. I know, normally we would not do this. But this is one of these special cases here that we need to clean this oil off because if we get into a DOT inspection they're going to just see the mess on there they're not going to care that I got a new hubcap so we got to clean all this off of here so we'll give that PV blaster a minute to set in now let's wipe it see how good that does now I'm not saying to clean your rims from now on using penetrating oil but what I am saying is, if you got some rags and you got a nasty mess, this will do the job. So you're going to use your first rag to get everything rubbed decently clean. Or basically smeared around. Then you'll grab a clean rag. And you'll come back behind yourself and free well polish it off. See how that's coming off real nice? It's almost like it never happened. Yeah, you'll still see a little bit of a glaze, but not anything close to like it was. This will help keep you guys out of trouble. flip the rag around and here in a minute I will shine the camera in here and show you what kind of decent job it does okay so I know it's not an absolute perfect job you're still gonna see some little places here and there but what you will see is a rim that actually looks fairly respectable so this will get me to where I can go to the car wash and power wash it off. I know where there are some that's not too far off. 
and it'll just take me a couple minutes to power wash this thing off but uh, that's how you remove that mess just use some penetrating oil Hey everybody, I'm Scott with Starkey Family Fixing and Rigging Up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and make sure your notifications are turned on. Now, you just watched me go ahead and uh, change out a little hubcap on this uh, on this back axle. I just want to let you all know that's not a very difficult job at all. And I know the price on the caps can vary. I was lucky enough to pay $14 for one. I will leave a descript or down in the description I will leave what the number is on this and uh, you know where you can actually find one of these for a decent price because you don't want to go to a trailer place to pay 30 bucks for one of these caps that's just crazy crazy but uh, I ended up getting the hubcap in the gasket so you don't have to buy them separate now I did tell you that I bought hardware. I wasn't sure how long that the bolt actually was, but I do want to give you a refresher on that. The diameter was a 5 16 That means how the size of the roundness, okay, size of threads. The next thing is the length of the bolt you measure from the bottom of the head outward was one inch, okay? So if you go to a hardware store, these are grade 8 also, by the way. The silver color that you see come out of those, those are a cheap grade. If you get them out, don't put them back in it. Make sure you get a grade 8, okay? Very, very, very cheap. But uh, again, it's a grade 8. It's a gold color. Uh, some of the stores may have a maroonish color, but as long as it's listed as a grade 8, what that's going to do is, you know, when you're out in the weather, the head of the bolt is what you're concerned about, okay? The threads are in oil because it's inside the hub, so you're, it's fine. This right here is where all that calcium salt, all the winter stuff gets to, and it can eat the head off of these, okay? That's why you get a high tensile strength bolt. That way it's a lot more difficult for the weather to actually destroy it. But again... It's a 5 16 one inch long, grade 8 bolt, okay? And as for the head of it, it took a half inch socket. And on top of that, you're going to use only a lock washer, not a normal washer, okay? So, uh, I don't know what the torque down specifications are on that, if there is one. I couldn't find it nowhere. Um, like I said, if anyone knows about that, leave it down in the comments. That way everyone knows if you want to care. But I am going to hop off here. But I hope you guys learned something. I hope you're not taking this thing to get worked on at a trailer place or any other place and get charged a lot of money for it. Because this is a very simple job. But I'm going to hop off here. As you see, it's dark out. It's laid out. It's time for me to get to bed. <laughs> so anyways you all take care have a great night and i will see you in the next video or you'll see me in the next video have a good one thank you